What's up everybody, Travis Bogart here at Above the Rest Training Systems in Cheyenne, owner, head coach, bringing you another exercise library video. This time we're talking about the sandbag box swap. You guys might have already seen this exercise on Instagram somewhere. I first saw it from Wesley Claiborne, the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, we're building out this exercise library so that we can plug it into our programs and help our athletes know what we're talking about when we put it in there. Before we roll into the exercise video, guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, make sure you're not missing anything coming out of Above the Rest Training Systems. Let's get started. Setting up this exercise, guys, you wanna make sure that you're sitting with the box and your femur is at least parallel to the floor, maybe a little higher, right? We wanna simulate loading an implement from this position. Once you guys have your box height set, you're gonna go ahead and load up the sandbag Get it up into your lap, oh yeah. And get ready for the load. Now from here, guys, we want to wrap ourselves all the way around, right? Imagine the prom date, you're grabbing at the cheeks, right? From there, we're gonna take our lats and we're gonna close them, sending my chest through the sandbag to the opposite side where my hands are. That is gonna put a vice grip on this bag and make sure that I'm solid. From this position, I wanna do my best to come straight up off the bag as explosively as possible, as explosively as possible, but as slow as necessary to make sure that we keep hold of the sandbag. So, we're gonna come up, back down, all the way up, back down, all the way up, back down. A few key points to performance on this exercise. Make sure that the feet are set up strong in the floor and lined up in such a way that we don't have to cave our knees in or out to be able to load the sandbag. Another key point to performance, guys, is we don't want to plop down on the box between reps. We want to make sure that we roll into the box under control and keep a nice tight brace as we do so. This is going to minimize injury, keep tension in the system from rep to rep. You'll get the most out of each set this way. As far as programming goes, guys, the best thing, best place for this exercise is this implement practice. The sandbags are notoriously difficult to get a hold of. They're notoriously difficult to get up into the torso to load. This exercise done with higher amounts of volume can really get us very familiar with the sandbag, get a really strong motor pattern, and build a lot of proficiency in the movement. Another cool thing about this exercise is that it tends to be much lower impact than a full-on sandbag pick and load, right? If we're loading at something over a bar, up to a platform, over and over and over again, we have to do the full-on deadlift, lap, extension, all of it, every single rep. This allows us to get the practice in with the bag with a slightly less impactful exercise that offers us more volume and maybe even recovery benefits depending on the training block. For strongman specifically, having exercises like this at your disposal can be super important because what it allows us to do is manage fatigue when we're juggling a lot of different events. You know, let's say you have an event that has a yoke and a frame and farmers and a sandbag. Well, those other three events, training them throughout the week can eat up all of your fatigue reserves, right? So in order to still be able to train the sandbags, having something like a sandbag box squat can really come in handy. The last reason that we'll implement the sandbag box squat is for technical correction. A lot of athletes, when they get the sandbag up into the lap and they go to extend it, they tend to either have too weak of a lock or they try to explode up out of that seated position and they wind up with the bag slipping. So instead of hitting here, they'll end up kind of popping and it'll slip down their torso and they'll lose it. So having the sandbag box squat to help us really practice keeping it tight to the torso and staying up here nice and tight, this can allow us to build that technique without all the impact. And frankly, this right here, it's gonna highlight those issues a lot better than a full pick and load would. Guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure before you leave, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. You do not wanna miss anything coming out of ATR, man. We're building out our exercise library with tips, tricks, common mistakes, all the things you need to know to build out a great training program for yourself. We'll catch you in the next video.